Hello, I was going to share a couple different methods I've used for taking uh, personal artwork, uh, bring that into the computer, and then converting these to uh, letterpress plates and printing different ways on the on a uh, letterpress. Um, let me go ahead and share my screen here. Uh, so one method is I will sometimes it's either a hand hand ink drawing that I'll scan in, or this could be something maybe, well, in this particular one, this is an image that I developed in, um, in Procreate um, to do all that work. And then I also brought in, I kind of use a Photoshop filter to get all this like uh, really nice, like stippling and line work in, in that way. And basically I made sure this was like an extremely high res, it's 1200 um, DPI slash, pixels per inch, um, and I made it a bitmap TIFF. And let me go ahead and, sh well, shoot. All right, hold on. I'll wait until the end. <laughs> you can also, um, this is an example of where I drew uh, in Adobe Illustrator and made a lot of fun different artwork this way. Uh, made sure everything was black and white. Once again, uh, I think I made sure it was outlined and I would send that out also. So I've been using a couple of different services. One of them is called Boxcar Press and they convert this black and white um, artwork to, let me go ahead and stop sharing. Um, they convert it, they convert it to this, like they shoot it, hold on. Okay, you ready? They take your black and white artwork and they project it onto a printing plate that's this this plastic material i'm going to like just talk about the plastic material first um it has a substrate layer that's like always going to stay hard and then the top layer is a photo emulsion um basically they shoot that artwork on here and it bakes basically your black line work onto this plate and then they spray it out and the rest anything else that doesn't uh, bake on uh, i like to just say bake but it's basically like a photo emulsive process it will not harden and it washes away and then you get this printing plate um, so this is an example of one of those plates that i did for that that second image i showed you of the black and white illustrator line work now i can take that i can take this plate i put it on my press that i'm about to show you and I can hand ink it. And um, then you might get something like this. Sometimes it's kind of fun because you get it gets a little bit soft um, and uneven with the hand inking. Um, this second one is an example of when I sent out that artwork and I worked with uh, my, my friend Rachel with Pistachio Press. Um, we also chose a very uh, soft cotton paper cotton reg paper and um, she has this press that's a Vandercook and it has an inking, basically part of the, the printing process, it actually automate, like inks the entire, um, the entire printing plate evenly. Um, they have ink rollers on it that, you know, is super cool that way. So one is a hand done process with using a proofing printer uh, you'll get something a little bit more artsy like this. And then at a more slightly more professional level, there's something like a Vandercook or a um, like a Kluge or a Heidelberg uh, windmill press where it'll be extremely evenly inked, very, really good impression. Um, but anyway, let me go ahead and show you uh, a letterpress um, printer as well. Also, um, I think I shared with, with people previously, one could also use either lead type. Here's some wood furniture to space out things. And, oh shoot, I didn't plan this part. Um, up here, you can see a few examples of where, uh, here we go, backwards, of using wood type, kind of like some old circus posters or something like that to create a composition as well. Um, but basically, if we get a photo emulsive plate made, it would sit on this aluminum base right here, and then we ink it, and this is like a little steamroller where it smashes 
smashes the paper into the plate. Um, if you wanted to use wood type or steel type or anything like that in like a, a carved block, um, you would pull this little uh, aluminum bed out and then put something in that's like a carved block. American uh, letterpress uh, typography is all around, let me see if I can reach in here and grab one. Let's find a good a good letter form to find. I think I found one. I'm I didn't pre-plan this out. Um, all right. So this is an example of wood type letter forms, and you can see that it's about um, it's just under one inch tall. And that's the annoying thing, it's not one inch, it's just, just under an inch. Um, so if I ever carve a wood block, this is an example of one that I carved that's on um, half inch plywood. Basically, I will stack up wood under here to make sure it's as level as the wood type as well. Um, just some ideas to start with. All right, well, thanks for a little tour and uh, I hope you're inspired.